The message is, there is good news for everybody. Everybody is in lost in sin. And the one in Jesus Christ, sin causes death and separation of man. Time is greater. Because of sin, my relationship with God is broken. And the goal is that God has opened many in Christ Jesus so that all people can be restored back to God. The goodness is from God, not from us. The goodness is revealed in Jesus Christ, and we should see and follow Him. In Luke chapter 4, verse 18, Jesus Christ said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because I will not tell me to preach the goodness to the poor, and send me to heal the broken hearted, and to preach the deliverance to the captive, and the coming of sight to the blind, and to set the left in free. The goodness means that God came into this world to die for our sins. When someone dies, we will not say it's good news. But in this case, Jesus Christ died for our sins. It is a good news. You ought to be happy. You ought to be glad that Jesus Christ died for our sins on the cross of Calvary over 2,000 years ago. So the good news is that he came to heal the broken hearted, to forget the deliverance of the captain, the coming of sight to the blind, and to send the body to those who have been pros. And that is the good news. The good news is that God loves you. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you have done in the past. God loves you. For this thing the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave the son of the God's son. That who shall believe stay in him. Shall not perish or have everlasting life. The good news is for you and me. There's nothing you ever can do to fulfill God's love towards you. There's nothing more that you can do for God to love you less. There's nothing more that you can do for God not to love you. God loves you not because you're lovely, no. God loves you because the Bible says God is a good God. God loves you because God is love. We don't know what love is until we find God. When we find God, we find love. Today, I want you to know even though your wife or your husband have asked you for divorce, I want you to know that God loves you. If your children are misbehaving, I want you to know that God loves you. It's a one place, it's a hard place to be. I want you to know that God loves you. Are you unemployed? I want you to know that God loves you. No matter the situation, circumstances in your life, I want you to know, my dear friends, that God loves you. God loves you, my dear friends. So through this love, you ought to know God. It doesn't matter what you're going through. The Bible says, two trials and temptations who will enter into the kingdom of God. God loves you that he gave his only begotten son. That who shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. If you don't know Jesus, you can know him today. The good news is that he has paid the price for you. All you have to do is to call upon his name. For the Bible says, anyone who calls upon the name of the Lord, be saved. Today, all you have to do is to invite you to your life. If you don't know Jesus, you can know him right now, but invite you to your life. Make a prayer like this. Dear Lord, Dear Lord, I am calling on my sinner. I I believe that you died for my sins. I believe that Jesus died for my sins. I rose again on the third day. I rose again from the third day. I turn away from my sins. I turn away from my sins. I pray. My faith. I receive the Lord Jesus. I receive the Lord Jesus. As my Savior. As my Savior. I thank you, dear Lord. Thank you, dear Lord. For saving me. For saving me. In your name I pray. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. I guarantee you, when you make a prayer like this, Jesus Christ will save you for an eternity. Remain blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ is Lord.